Hey friend, it's Miss Christina bringing another preschool story time. Are you ready? Me too. Okay, and now it's time for a story. Now we're going to read the This First Thanksgiving Day Accounting Story, written by Laura Krause Melmit. One dressed in linen, sitting in a tree, dreaming of the tall, strong ship on which he crossed the sea. Two dressed in deerskin, gathering nuts below giggling as they tiptoe by, too shy to say hello. <laughs> Three in the garden, pulling up some roots, turnips for the pottage pot, and parsnips for the soup. Four helping father, catch fish in the bay, some to dry for winter time, and some to eat today. Five in the forest, searching as they roam, finding sticks to light the fire that keeps them warm at home. What about you? Do you have a fireplace at home that keeps you warm? Six stepping softly with small bows in hand, following a rabbit's tracks across a patch of sand. Seven fetching water, running with pails to fill, then walk home with careful steps so not to drop will, so not a drop will spill. That's a lot of water gathering, isn't it? Water is very important. Eight on the sandbar, working in a crew, digging for some tasty clams to make a steaming stew. Oh, stew sounds really good, doesn't it? Nine in the cornfield, bringing in the maize sowed with care as Squanto taught last spring on planting days. Have you ever had a garden? I used to have a garden. 10 making baskets by the fire's glow, weaving slender cattail reeds while singing soft and low. Eleven rejoicing in the autumn sun, laughing, shouting, playing tag. Their chores at last are all done. Twelve tables groaning beneath a harvest spread. Wampanoag and pilgrim friends together will break bread. Joined under one sky with one prayer to say, a prayer of thanks for all they have this first Thanksgiving day. The end. Okay, it's time for a song. And this time we're going to do the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Are you ready? The Itsy Bitsy Spider crawled up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider crawled up the spout again. Now this time let's do a teeny tiny spider. 
The itsy bitsy spider crawled up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Now let's try a big spider. The itsy bitsy spider crawled up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Good job. Okay, it's time for another story. Now we're going to read Thank You Thanksgiving by David Milgram. Thank you for sending me, Mom. I wonder where she's going. Thank you, warm boots. Thank you, music. Thank you, pretty clouds. Aren't those pretty clouds? They're pink cotton candy clouds. <gasps> Thank you, rabbits. Thank you, Park. Looks like she has some friends now, huh? <gasps> Thank you, Doc. What do you see? Looks like a duck brought back her scarf, huh? And it was very nice of Doc. Thank you, General Store. Do you like to grocery shop with your parents? I love grocery shopping. It's my favorite. Thank you, snow people. Thank you, hill. It's a much faster way to travel, isn't it? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mixer. Thank you, pie with whipped cream. Because what is a pie without whipped cream? Thank you, Thanksgiving. The end. Okay, it's time for a song. And this time we're going to do your happy and you know it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, two or three, stop, stop, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, two or three, stop, stop, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, two or three. Okay, and now it's time for our craft. Today, we're going to be making a turkey paper plate created by the Maker Exchange team. So some of the things we're going to need include a paper plate, either paint markers or crayons or even colored pencils. And then if you have them, go ahead and grab some googly eyes. 
The first thing we want to do is to color or paint the inside of the plate because this will be the turkey's body. The outside of the plate, the rim is going to be all of our feathers. And here are some examples of different colors we can choose from for our feathers. Now, our next step is going to be drawing or painting the eyes, the beak, and the snood. The snood is the red part. And there you have it. You now have your very own turkey all ready to play with. So that's it for today, but don't forget, we have a bunch of other virtual story times just waiting for you on our YouTube channel, or go to cityofcorona.com backslash library for additional e-media. You can also use our click, park, and pickup, which is my favorite, or stop by the library yourself to browse the bookshelves. See you next time.